Dollar Observer Ward down in the Radiant Jungle, giving a little bit of a safety net here, and maybe an opportunity to jump on the AM. Disruption into combo from Boom. They jump Epi Kid, give him the old toss up, but he blinks oh, yeah, back into the void. <laughs> Time dilation's there. He doesn't have Manta Style. The Aegis oh. might get removed here, but the call, three man, jump in. There we go. Viking, dunk down. One by one, they all come crumbling down. Celery, has got Glimmer Cape on him, but that's it. GG's call. They tap out. 23 minutes in. VP annihilate Viking. I, I think that with the Aeon Disc Minotaur Horn combo now, that these fights might start looking a little different. I mean, the real question is who gets blown up first? Jump in. Guess who it is? It's Miracle. He falls. Kuro, even with the blink, couldn't get there in time. The silence was more than enough. And now the Supernova down. General oh trying to take it out. Roger on the low ground. Can they kill it in time? One more hit. It's not there. They take them all down. GH did it to them. Three dead. Can they find anything else afterwards? Miracle back in the fray. Wants to make it happen. Double kill down for Weeha. GH. He just does have a buyback, though. And now they have no Doom. No oh, the LSA? They corned away. Toby can initiate here. They never talked him well for up a Wii, but BKB, Toby's gonna run in. The Chrono's gonna go down, connect him on two. The buyback comes out from GH, but Wii is already gonna fall. The cool control, RP, oh, turn around, Miracle, try to get through with them quickly. Can he do it though? The stun's gonna run out. The controller's got the hook shot. Combo from GH will ensure that they turn this fight around and they take plenty of heads from Viking compared to what Nigma gave over. No, the best one is the one afterwards. To nerf the crap out of boss one's relevance. The Timber Man jumped in on, trying to burst through him. They've got the first life. Storm is stunned up though. They're trying to keep him alive. Arena's gonna go down. Storm Spirit is dead though. B2 trying to dish out the damage with Timber Man. Look for the target general. Stand his ground to get rid of the tombstone. And Matumba Man down for the second time. They're gonna find him. Puppy is also gonna fall. Zai trying to move away, but that means they're leaving Nisha behind. Arrow through is blocked by the creep from Chen. Nisha down to half HP, soon to be to zero. And they're hunting for more. Always want to fly. Keeps an eye on Zai. He's at least able to TP away. Yaps all doing the same. But this is a big problem. Because not only did you fail to breach their face, but you just gave a rapier to the slot. They got to keep on fighting on the dire side of the map and make OG react to them. He has a reluctance to come up the river, come up these stairs. Oh, we got a smoke on smoke here. Athletic Kid, he's gonna find a huge Chrono Snip, but no, he gets lifted. He wasn't quick enough. But now they can jump around the Chrono Snip, does eventually come down. The Alchemist on the front of it. Maybe they can bring him down. Meanwhile, RP, Dragon 2 Heroes into that Chrono, an amazing play from DM to lock down two extra heroes. Oh, dearie me, it comes crashing down for OG Virtus Pro. That is how you Chrono. And DM just grabbing two extra heroes and just scooping them onto the side of the Chrono, plus them onto the side of it. That was beautiful. The hesitation from Electric Kid nearly cost them the fight. However, Whee! there are two catapults. Whee! You're right, there's two catapults. It's gonna be a problem. Jump in with the Abyssal. Skid up, be burst low. They can't get through him, they need to move away. He's got no mana though. So you cannot Chrono. They need to get through that first life. There's gonna be the heal that gives him the mana though. So that's the back up. Randy's down to half HP. He's a bit of liability. Jump in with the anti mage. He goes forth, pops down, disc and moves away. They are taking them. They're juking and jiving and dragging them low. BKB forced out Baranya and he's just still able to move away in time. They lose the IO. He's going to be brought down. Has got buyback. There for a long time as well. There it is. It's going to come out. Baranya, they jump in on the science mob as well. Skid's trying to go in. Egg on the side. Drag control is there. Boy, not able to use the Chrono. He's able to throw it down and catch on the Nisha. They turn around the bigger target. Trying to burst through with Tumba Man quick enough. He's surviving. Chrono did drop the other side of the fight though. Science is good. They get rid of him. Oh, that comes out. The Tumba Man, he needs to do something. He needs to do it right now. Skid still has a second life. Ravage is going to be there from side. Back line, trying to deal with them, drags them in once more, first and through them, gonna bring them low, they get rid of the Vegas, and they get rid of the DP and the Dragon Knight. And he's coming out into a world of pain, he's gonna try to move away, but it's looking bad for Bugloms now. Chrono's gonna be the refresher, turn around with some man, brought down, bash control is good, getting him low, anti mate will he survive this, he's the man that's coming away, no, they get him! Now 425 seconds, fought on Anisha as well, but he gets away with the ball lightning. But now, Mud Golems, they have the numbers to run this one home. Nisha trying to buy enough time. Buyback comes out from Yapsel, but who is going to kill Skidder now? Nobody. He's going to kill everything in front of him. He goes for the prone. They're trying to pick off the easy targets, but Science comes out and Nisha. Control is good. The storm is gone. He does have buyback, but Skidder, he's got eyes on the prize. Trying to end the game right now. Enough damage coming out, though, to slow them down. Yeah, you'll delay this, but it looks like we are getting the game free. It's Mud Golem straight back and bring the score to 1-1. One, one. You know, there's a bunch oh. of them at the same place. Oh. Ooh. Fine. Okay. I mean, Fada gets the egg off. The Chrono's gonna go down as well. Mistake's been made. They can't finish off Zai. He's one more hit and he'll get it just in time. But they still lose Matumba Man and Yapsaw and Zai's gonna join him. 
A little bit of miscommunication there as Yapsor threw the target outside of Sai's stomp. You can yeah. tr always trust him to overperform if you give them the uh, resources. Oh, smoke so. from smoke Navi. Up. General leading that charge. Oh, Solo, look at him in the trees, but then she found him. General gets straight on top of him. And they're going to be able to bring down the tree. All right, all right, fair enough. No hesitation from General there just to jump straight into him and finds him immediately. Very nice. 60 seconds, four versus oh, five. They might be looking for the no abyssal blade out onto him. Can they get them down with the RP? Come down onto two, but no one gets signed up, so we can't go in for the abyssal blade coming through, doing so much work with the Omni Such on top of it as well. As Cataclysm comes on down. They've taken down VTune. VTune has no buyback either, so no way back into this fight. All they lost was their tree and a buyback, of course, from Always Wanna Fly. Coming in his trademark at this point as General trying to run himself away with that flicker. He's got himself a Yules in one second and a Dissimulate as well. So a very tricky target to bring down once Iceberg deals with the creeps. And that was a 4v5 fight. And now jumping on to always want to fly. Doesn't do much damage though on this uh, Invoker. And now he's actually getting jumped by Iceberg. Might need some help. And of course Zyats is there with the disruption. Solo trying to get off the ultimate. The overgrowth being cancelled out. But it doesn't make a difference. They'll be able to get a kill. Meanwhile Ramsey the backline just chops through Vtune again. He brings him down for a second time. And they're just going to call it straight there. Because they do not have the buybacks. GG well played. Is cool in game number two. And 404 will get their revenge. I mean they're into the Roche now. They're going to jump on 3-3 here. Milan trying to keep him alive, but the silence is there afterwards. Great Orchid oh, placement. Roll in afterwards. Silence onto the rest of them. They're going to need to get the Yule Scepter off. Egg is available afterwards with the Chrono. If they want to jump in and make it happen, Chrono is going to land onto all of them. They oh. can't get in range. They can't get them. And it's going to pop. It's the sun onto absolutely everybody. Have they salvaged this fight? Kuro in a hell of a lot of trouble. He gets beaten down, and now they're trying to chase down Weeha. What a chrono. I thought GH had that when he got into the back lane like that. It looked like they were going to get in Barania, but nope, nothing else. Maybe a salvage kill, but no, the Yule's up as well. Wait, they still have Mortimer's Kisses. Got to be careful. Cookie into everybody. Can they beat him down in time? I the like how instead of there. gobbling and shooting the Phoenix, he took the Arcane. Oh my god, tried to gobble up right there, but didn't quite get in range. And bringing down Miracle. Got to be careful. Chase down. Arrow's off the mark. They're going to throw oh, out they're going Miracle. For a miracle. Him under control. And then throw out the kisses. Miracle pops the enrage though. Yule Scepter lift up afterwards. There's a couple more kisses. Can't quite catch mind control. But they will be able to chase down Miracle and kill him as well. That was so many buybacks. That was really risky, man. They almost threw both kills there potentially. But uh, luckily, uh... Right, so those extra seconds make it obvious. Instead, it's going to be VP to strike. Strand is Ayats. They'll try and back away, but it's just too much damage. They'll find Sol as well. Chrono's gonna go down. They did find Drow Ranger. They're trying to heal her up with a hand of God, but it's not good enough. Yules buys enough time for her to start running away. But she might still be there. Gust to push them back. BKB from Ramsey's trying to run this one off. But they're hunting forward. They find the kill onto the champ finally. The buyback out from the Ev Spirit. And the Crime Roar's gonna be there. Faces for the target. They need to connect with the roll, but no! The torrent storms all around the fight. Stops the rolling attempt and wipes the entirety of 404. GG immediately gets called by 404. They know it's over. And Vars, bro, what a way. That stage, uh, that stage is uh, pretty much always just a losing battle, uh, uh, Sven versus uh, Spectre, unless there are other elements. But uh, it's going to be initiation on the mid. Oh, they dropped the rock. They're going to turn around with the Horn, the Dragon as well. So they snipe one out. Oh, Spirit is down, but Hanson's going to die. So the up damage. The limp is also going to fall. Metal Bond's just doing too much work. They'll turn around the duel onto FNG. They have three for the price of one and another duel with this one feeling a little bit more worthwhile for Liquid. Looking at, yeah, about a 9, 9k oh. gold swing. That's pretty what? insane. What? Oh, what a wall stop coming down on the two, setting up for a beautiful black hole from no one. They jump both the cars. They're out of this before they even get a chance to use anything. Zayat yeah. with the wall stop. They were not ready for that. Oh my god. They, they want to try something fancy with uh, Zayat's here. But FNG, he's pinging it. He senses something's going on here. Oh, they're baiting with the ward, but no, the bait gets counted upon here as the Doom gets stunned up and said, in comes no one, three man B, black hole coming down as they jump forward. Take down one, take down two, Ethel's gonna fall as well. All three heroes inside that black hole will go down. Meanwhile, the S is gonna get controlled up with the Yules. And Echo Baby running on forward, looking for a target, popping that in rage to try and bring down the Enigma, which he will be able to do so. But they're looking for the backlines, they're looking for the doomed up Death Prophet, trying to finish her off. Some Alan Ramsey's the two squad, they will get the kill. No buyback on the Death Prophet as this. Ursa runs Rampage in the back lines, but he's running out of steam. His team is running out of support for him. But Ramses is still absolutely fine as he comes back onto this high ground. They did get the Doom and the Enigma in the back here. So, I mean, actually not that convincing of a fight despite an insane black hole as uh, Bissleblade. 
The Abyss Blade in return. Just a couple of Abyssal Blades being thrown down as the Rage comes through. The two carries just going mono e mono with each other here. But that, that's a big one. S4 is in. Roundy needs a target. Jumps into Solo. That is not a very good passenger though, because this Enchantress is going to die so, so quickly. Solo with the full stuff up into the high ground, trying to keep her precious cargo alive and buy enough time to get off this Rage. Doesn't do so, unfortunately. And the Life Stealer is going to fall. It's a five man wipe for Alliance. So you remove that. Rolling the from Tiger here, moving on to that play to get there, trying to connect with the no duel, duel, but unfortunately not able to do so as it Yules comes in from GPK, saves it from the duel, now they can turn it around once again, dropping the ultimate, it is beautiful from Virtus Pro, as they will drop down Boxy, looking ahead for more, and Sadia tries to turn it around with a chaotic offering, it's not going to do anything, it's a drop in the ocean, as Virtus Pro take down four more heroes, once again, every single ultimated, ultimate, used with perfection. That was brutal. Absolutely massive. Whoa, that's cool. So it's like a extra slow too, right? Here we go. Here we go is gonna see him. Thompson coming through though. Sees his three heroes in the neighborhood. Also recognize the fact they've got that chrono, but in comes no tail. He's not messing around. Trying to find himself the RP. Won't be able to do so as Thompson rolls in once again, missing his targets. Now he's actually taking a decent amount of Oh my goodness, what just happened to Milan? They look across towards Jakira as well. So much damage, but the chrono comes down under the tower. He and the will save. Not... Oh, the save from Saxa comes in with a disruption, but the, the cookie is it enough. They've got so much damage, but no. The bottom is kisses, it goes right over his head. Thompson to the sideline, 33 is on top of him. Surely he can finish the job, but his whole team is dead. So close. Thompson so low, he actually turns around to fight him. Look at him, the absolute madman. So Thompson, oh my goodness, he couldn't, didn't have the damage. Thompson turns around, smashes his face in.